like to talk about Trump a fair amount around here. But when it comes to this pending indictment, uh, they don't have anything to say yet. Listen here. Mr. President, do you think that the charges against Trump are politically motivated? I have no comment. Your, your reaction to President Trump's indictment? Do you first, are you worried this will further divide, divide our country, the indictment? I have no comment on that. Mr. President. In the wake of the indictment? No, I, I, I'm not going to talk about Trump's indictment. You've spoken about democracy and the rule of law at every stop in Africa. Given that, what is your comment on former President Donald Trump's indictment? And are you worried that his calls for protest could lead to a recurrence of the violence similar to that of January 6th? I am not going to comment on an ongoing criminal case as it relates to the former president. Because he has gotten away with so much for so long, uh, and so many of his victims will never see their day in court, I think it's absolutely understandable that some people would be feeling vindicated and, quite honestly, celebratory. The first time ever that a former president has been criminally charged. That's right, Lady Justice grabbed Trump by the Look at the Soros back. Now, it's just Jews. They're attacking Jewish no. international bankers. It's what anti-Semites have been doing for hundreds of years, attacking Jewish international bankers. And that's what they do. They try to blame everything on Jewish international bankers. It's Germany, 1933. This idea among uh, the right that African-Americans, that black folks who are uh, in positions um, are controlled uh, by some Jewish overseer who's pulling their strings. That's what that statement reads like. He is channeling an era in American history that is one of the most ugly that he's probably not allowing to be taught in school. I am very concerned that former President Trump has abandoned all moderation in his rhetoric. It is overheated rhetoric. What he is essentially doing uh, in talking to his base, those who, as John put it, under or still under his spell, it's is basically take up arms against our government, state and local. They're going to turn Trump into a martyr. People are going to go out and protest. Somebody's going to do something stupid, and then they're going to fire up the DOJ. Yes. I think they, on the left, that is a religion, and I think they look at Trump as Satan. Yes. And it if you got to get rid of Satan and or Hitler, then you just do what you got to do. God is on your side. What do you think this Donald Trump thing is really all about? The American, the America that we knew, the fundamental transformation that started in 2008 is finished. We are no longer viewed as a superpower. We are now a an elderly. What we're Joe Biden just walking into the twilight. I'm going to make a prediction. By 2025, we are going to be at war. We are going to have a new dollar, a currency that it probably is coming from the central bank. We'll have a currency collapse uh, and we will live in a virtual police state. He spent more money on lawyers than most people spend on campaigns. They're trying to bleed him dry. Donald J. Trump dot com. Go tonight. Give the president some money to fight this bullshit. This is going to destroy America. We're going to fight back at the ballot box. We're not going to give in. How does this end, Sean? Trump wins in court and he wins the election. That's how this wins. Ends. I guarantee you, he's it, the primary ends right there. He's he's the Republican nominee, and I will guarantee you, he's going to win the presidency. If this is the way they want to play. Every Republican, even the guys that hate Trump, say, "Okay." This is now beyond out of control.